In my left hand I have a bowline, in my right I have an angler's loop. Now this is why the bowline is not recommended. One, the tail end ends up inside your loop, so you have to push that out of the way if you're going to use it. The other is, if you're following the long part of your rope forward, the bowline doesn't sit naturally with this loop. And then also the ends creating the loop aren't together and they're facing different directions at 90 degrees. And then finally, this knot here, according to the Ashley Book of Knots, is not stable in the guts. So I guess it pulls apart easier than the other one. Now here's why you want the angler's loop. With this one, the tail end is not inside the loop. The two ends are coming together, so it makes a good leader. And then when you follow the line, the loop falls squarely with it. Here's how to tie it. So I have my free end in my right hand, and all I'm going to do is from the back side, make a complete coil. There you go. And then with the free end, I'm going to continue that coil, and I'm just going to lay it in front, right above it. And now all I'm going to do is take this loop and pull it through this one. So there's my angler's loop. Now if we want to make this longer, we'll just pull the slack out before we transfer the loop through. One more time, going from behind, make a complete loop, put it in front. If I want the loop longer, I'm going to transfer the slack, and then I'm just going to poke it through the upper. There we go. But what if you want to tie this around an object? Here's how you do that. So what we're going to do is take our left hand, reach from behind, and then poke it back through, making an overhand knot, just like that. Now we're going to take our free end and poke it through. And now you see how this creates a loop on this side? All we're going to do is push that loop up so that we create a little window. And then we're going to reach from behind and grab our free end and stick it through that window. There we go. When we pull everything together, there is our angler's loop. I have my overhand knot, I'm going to go around my object, and now I'm going to take my free end, poke it through. With my left hand, I'm going to reach from behind, grab that one, and then I'm simply going to open up this knot, stick it underneath, I have one more piece of rope, also stick it underneath, and then pull everything tight.